Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today we are testing the new Eagle Transporter. Uh, this is um, a new model. Well, there, there, it has some interesting modifications to it. Uh, after the previous one was lost in the mission to deploy a rover um, on Earth. And this one, uh, I'm using the um, industrial uh, mod, the uh, sorry, the industrial DLC uh, for it, and as you can see, it it has uh, really improved the um, aesthetics to it. Also, I'm using um, another mod here. Um, let me see, I forgot the um, Icaster's uh, decorations, which introduces all these um, pipes. And it really helps to give um, another look to your creations, right? Like this, these pipes here, these are conveyor pipes. And they will, um, yeah, they, they can convey any uh, block or any component, I should say. Because sometimes some, some pipes cannot um, convey... Um, any component like the, 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 the steel plates and such uh, large components for example in small ships but these pipes can also we see the modification to the uh, cockpit and you will see that it's a cockpit inside a cockpit <laughs> or um, yes it, it, it has like this double canopy this was my my um yeah my best um effort to somehow bring uh, a more a closer uh, uh semblance to the original eagle transporter of uh, the space 1999 uh, tv show and yeah and also a difference is that the the aft compartment i may I made it like um, symmetric to the access uh, corridor here, the, the, the what I call the service module here, uh, because before it was uh, larger and now um, also we have this engine, the, the industrial um, DLC engines look really good. Here we have um, hydrogen tanks connected to them four of them and I will show you the interior so in the aft compartment I have um, um, survival kit also I have like this um, toilet this is following like the original design right the the space 1999 Eagle transporter has a, a toilet in this section um, what is missing from the original series here is the um, the nuclear reactor, but uh, we can replace the the survival kit by a nuclear reactor if we wanted to. So, and it would be then um, closer to the original. Um, what else? What's difference? Let's go to the front part. Yes, here we have a galley. Um, which also resembles the original uh, model from the series and we have uh, armories here as well and buttons that I have to set and we have here the the cockpit we have some lockers here uh, as well so the cockpit basically this is the industrial the industrial cockpit and the reason why I did this is because the industrial cockpit gives uh, a really good um, visibility. So I've noticed that w uh, when um, working with the Eagle Transporter is important to have, um, usually you want to have a good visibility downwards. So um, when I tried like the, um, the pilot seat or the, uh, this... Um, different pilot or consoles uh, that that are available in the in the game 
they don't give me a good visibility um, like the like the industrial cockpit and the other thing I have here is um, transparent LCD panel and it has the um, artificial horizon so it's it's acting as a head-up display so that's it also I have activated like the <coughs> the the center of mass we can we can see it here and it's important that the center of mass um, is uh, falling here just below the the connector because otherwise it's um, yeah otherwise it tends to tilt it tends to tilt in one way or, or another or, or another depending on where it falls and I had to place some heavy armor uh, here in front for it to uh, to be centered because the back has uh, slightly more weight than the front okay so let's uh, connect the we're going to test it I want to get some some ice we need to drill some ice so for that we need to um, yeah we need to bring the platform we will need to bring the platform up oh sorry yeah there and connect the module so this one has the um, yeah this um, what's it called the 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 <coughs> the prospecting module and i have to turn on i forgot about turning on the the ports we need to turn the ports on here that's the number three and this should connect everything let me also um turn off the this okay so uh, yes here we we will need to also turn off the um, the landing prospector landing gear um, unlock and turn them off yes and now it's connected it was preventing the connection okay so that's it and we can now um, yeah I think we can we can go for ice now so yeah I need um, large uh, amounts of ice and the Eagle transporter with a with a prospector module is is good for that so let's see now we need uh, to turn on the uh, lift and to turn on the dampeners and i think that's it for now So this is a good combination uh, to have the dampers on and the lift because the lift will tend to um, to keep the yeah we need the impulse as well the the lift will tend to keep the the the, the ship uh, static but since it doesn't have um, RCIS uh, 
on the RCS thrusters, then it uh, doesn't um, it doesn't compensate for the horizontal. So what's compensating for the horizontal is the is the gravity. Uh, sorry for the vertical. I should say. So, okay, so we can, I guess we can um, drill from any of these sides. We will need um, to keep the, the ship steady. So let's see. We will be working with, uh, oh, this, this the camera is just on top which one is this? okay let's use this one I think this is the camera just uh, below the um, the service yes this is the other one that points to the points to the bottom of the ship okay let's um, bring the the thing down yeah that's the, the drill this is a good view to do that and now we can just extend the cylinder and we can now Ah wait, yes, right. There is a, there is a camera. This is a better camera. Yes, this is from the this is a view from the the prospector module. So that's that's good. It's a good view. So we have to be careful not to destroy the 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 drill. What will give you, us like a sense of the altitude, I guess, is the shadow, right? There's the shadow. We should turn the drill on. Now it's on. There, we are drilling now. I want to keep this steady it tends to go backwards now it, it tends to go backward because of the of the drill the drill it's a little bit back let's see in inventory ah one thing one important really important thing um, let's see because it could be that the uh, yeah right the, the connector is not on and we should try to connect it now and probably now it's yes now it's doing what it should be doing we we didn't have the connector on the connector the load connector it was not on so it was not um taking the the, the, the ice but look at that we are taking a lot of ice now we could also um drill sideways but we have to be very careful because I know that it tends to uh, the physics sometimes is um, going a little bit too, too um, unstable and then it breaks
Okay, so how much eyes are we getting? I think we... Load connector transport... Ah, yeah, the connector gets filled. And what else? And the generators, right? The generators take ice, but they are not taking as much ice as they can. The connector is getting um, filled. So let's see. We are a little bit... Oop. Let's be careful here. It could be that we end up destroying or... Yeah, these movements are... Ooh. Or dangerous. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but but it seems to be uh, working perfectly. I'm really happy with this model. I think it's an improvement. Well, I, I, I really like the, the, the head-ups display here. Because it lets me... Um, well, I don't have to, to... Before I had to look down to the other artificial horizon, this one. And this is good if you're if you're looking downwards. Uh, it's good to have this other artificial horizon. But if you're um, driving like you are... Um, you're going forwards and you are in this, um, how's it called, the cruise, a part of the trip, then you want, um, you want that head-ups, um, display, right? You want the one that it's, uh, just in front of you and you don't have to look down or anything. Okay, how much do we have now? Oh, this is completely full. Ah, the prospector container is full. Also, the prospector connector is full. Okay, I think this is enough for now. Let's, let's head back to the base. So, we turn this off. We bring the we bring the drill up as well. And we um, we fold. There we go. So let's go back to the base. Let's turn off the um, RCS. The RCS, um, the problem when we have RCS on is that we consume more um, fuel than... RCS is good if you are, if you want to remain static or you're making like this really um, precise movements. Ah, I, I was not in the right. Yes. So um, this mode of traveling like with, a, with the dampeners on and the RCS off, what we do here is really we um, spare fuel. Because what it what happens um, is that 
Uh, by the way, when we when we have the RCS off, uh, the the Eagle transporter is um, we can change direction um, like a helicopter, like uh, tilting, because we are doing this with uh, with the aft um, with a um, lift, the lift thrusters. So the lift thrusters are the one that are, that are doing the the change of direction when the RCS are off, because the lift thrusters are just pointing down. Okay, so now I'm not sure where are we now. Okay, we have to go. Um, to the left Okay, let's see. One of the cameras is, um, I think it's this one. This one is just um, really close to the connector, the, the aft connector. There's a connector aft that will let us um, dock with a, with a base. And also I placed uh, some spe really special um what's it called special blocks on the platform that will force the eagle transporter to to move uh to uh, to um, like a predetermined position like this landing position and these blocks are the ones that you see uh in the in the left and right bottom side of the screen they will push the the landing gears in such a way that it will force the eagle transport to adopt a, a particular position okay we need to let's see and one thing i want to do is to Not that one, but... Okay, we don't have the landing gear here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So which one is it? So this camera right here is just... Is just um, beside the connector. So we should Let's see I'm not sure that I'm in the right position here Ah, look, no, I was mistaken about the camera. <laughs> in fact, it's in, in the back, so I, I was confused right there. Okay, so we just need... The connector is in fact... Um... Ah, I shouldn't do this. The connector is just um, just ahead, right? So we should align it with a with a block behind. But let's uh, 
sta stabilize a little bit there it looks like a um, yeah, complicated maneuver but it shouldn't be and we are a little bit yeah a little bit out of place this should be um, close and we should see like the uh -huh. let's see I think we are basically aligned with the Yes, and these are the the the, um, the blocks I told you. This um, these blocks will push the landing gears to adopt a certain position. So we have um, those in each of the um, um, landing gears, and as you can see, it's difficult for the Eagle transporter not to fall in that position. So this helps a lot because. Usually, it's very difficult to have the Eagle Transporter um, aligning to us um, in a certain way. Um, and this is the way I, I found out to, to do that. Of course, the, the connectors help because they have like this magnetic field. But keep in mind that there are um, several degrees of liberty here that... Um, make this uh, really complicated to to have it in a particular way so and these are blocks from the um industrial dlc and they i i found out that this this uh, layout here it helps a lot okay but then that's it um we can turn off everything yeah the eagle transporter is a is a bulky ship um so mm, for most of the things i would use like the the small ships uh the small grid ships the minor and the utility but for example i had uh this um uh let's say requirement that i needed for example now i need a lot of ice and for that um I will use the Eagle Transporter. Like in one trip, even though it takes some time, like you, you, you saw now, it takes more time that, than to go um, with, a, with a miner, uh, drill some ice and come back. The, 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 the small grid miner is, um, it doesn't hold that much ice. So I think it holds maybe 20,000 kilograms um and with uh with the eagle transporter we saw that we almost filled all the the the, the, the generators plus um well only in the in the container we had like forty two thousand um kilograms of ice <clears throat> and now we have uh, certainly um we filled everything right Yeah, now I have like extra four generators and they are almost at 50% each. So yeah, that's 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 great. Okay, guys. So this is uh, everything for today's episode. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will be placing this uh, um, model in the uh, Steam Workshop, by the way, if you're interested. I think this would be version 8. And yeah, now now you have um, uh, an, an Eagle Transporter that, that resembles a little bit more the, the original. 
Um, I think maybe some of you were not happy that the Eagle Transport didn't look quite as the as the TV show, but keep in mind that I always um, seek like this. Um, how it's called? Compromise between uh, the aesthetics and the functionality. I want a ship that is functional, really, because this is uh, um, a lot of the fun is to test that this. Um, designs are functional and yeah one of the one of the issues was the, the 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 command module and it's really hard sometimes to to get um, things looking in a certain way with the limited uh, blocks that w we have available and the there are um, yeah certain limitations that makes this difficult um, also know that um, I'm using like this dark color um, under the under the ship under under the um, the command module just under under the um, the cockpit the industrial cockpit and this there's a reason for this uh, because you see also these uh, black colorings in, um, close to the windows in the Ingle transporter and i think the reason is to prevent reflections so all the, the the surfaces near to windows they are black color to prevent reflection and then um, obstructing vision to the pilot so i think uh, this is the reason why and we we made this so you will see of course that the like like this black pattern is not the same as the in the ingle transport because the the, the the com also the command module has a different shape but they are doing the same they are performing the same function and in this case is uh, they are preventing reflections so yeah this is everything for this episode and i hope uh, to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off